Hello everyone. So today I was going to play this game that has piqued my interest for some time now. It's Infestation Survivor Stories. This game was formerly known as The War Z, not to be confused with the unrelated movie or the unrelated book. From what I gather, the creators of the movie actually requested the name change as this sounded like the game of the movie to some people. To be honest, I think this is a little bit harsh. Not to stick up for the fuckwits who actually made this game, Hammer or OP Productions or whatever the fuck they call themselves these days, but War Z is a pretty generic title in my opinion. I could imagine a lot of things ending up with that name, like pinball machines or something that just aren't feeling very imaginative. Well anyway, this game is somewhat infamous as a huge con job. It looks somewhat impressive with its screenshots as they look like a pretty decent game, but this is just to sucker you in. From what I've heard, this game is a nightmare to play. You're unfairly punished for getting killed by having to wait up to 24 hours to respawn, and many users have even complained about being randomly banned by broken ass moderation systems. Now, this is only a rumour of course, I mean I have no real proof of this other than a couple of Steam reviews, which is why I bought this game to play for myself. I thought it would make an interesting episode of Curiosity Safe. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right, um, look, I'm not even going to pretend this is a legitimate game or that this is going to be a real review, because neither is true. You'll see why. But call this a special feature or something, I'm working on the real review, but this is a nice little bit of filler to kill the time. Too bad that bit of filler cost me 7 quid. So I tried booting the installer up and after going through the usual shit, it asked me to create an account. Fair enough, I did so. As soon as I hit the register button, it opens my Chrome tab and starts playing this fucking hey video, like where some boring arsehole talks about game some game Shattered Skies, Skies game. Uh, what the fuck is this? Well, the game's Artemis crashed, Artemis that's Artemis great, Artemis but Artemis what the fuck does this Artemis video Artemis have to do with Artemis anything? Artemis I guess they wanted a chance to plug their shitty game, well plug away my friends, here's a free plug for Falling Skies or whatever the fuck that fucking game's called, on a video explaining how one of their other games doesn't even fucking work. Great advertising that is, was it worth it? Well, so whilst this cunt witters on in the background, I wait for the game to start up and I wait for a very long fucking time. This is because I've tripped over the first hurdle. The game won't update and it gives me an error message. Fair enough, guess that's helpful at least. The error message blames my firewall, so I turn it off for a moment and try it again. Doesn't seem to work though, and I'm currently stuck on my desktop staring at a picture of Gertrude from I Hate Fairyland. God, I wish I was reading that instead of doing this. So, I google around a bit and I find a thread where someone basically tells me that if I get this error, I'm far past fucked. Great. I did find a few foreign language tutorials on how to fix this broken piece of shit. One even looked promising and gave me some questionable software that should help me fix it. I tried installing it and it crashed. Fucking great. I also noticed that something kind of funny happened, cause I went into the actual Steam files to try and find an alternative way of launching the game, lo and behold, I actually found one. But um, here's the funny part. These dumb cunts actually left the War Z installer in the folder, but hey, it gets even better. I tried running the Infestation EXE and got the following error message. Please run Infestation.exe. Um, I did? Oh, it must mean the War Z Infestation EXE. Silly me, I should have read the instructions and then did the opposite of what they said. That works everywhere else, right? There's a lot of history behind this game. As I said, it's quite controversial, because it's a fucking con job. It receives so many complaints on launch, in fact some people dedicated entire YouTube sagas to how shitty this game is. My favourite of them all is Rhino Crunch, who was like the frontrunner of the campaign against the people who made this game. 
I like him because he actually went down to their studio, all pumped up, fired, ready to get the piece of his mind and throw it at these pricks. But then he came back with a change of heart. Like, a very big change of heart. Like, he had a very good incentive. My guess is that he was either paid off with a very fat paycheck, or threatened with legal action. I mean, from a legal standpoint, calling someone a liar is technically slander. It's better to call someone a cunt since no one can sue you for calling them a cunt. A little pro tip for budding outspoken assholes like myself out there. So where does this leave me and this game? In all honesty, I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm too tired to get angry about this piece of shit. And I'm too busy with curiosity to take episode 8 to give a shit about this game anymore. I requested a refund and wrote a negative review on Steam. And now I'm ready to move on with my life. But yeah, fuck this game.